On this week's Jack Swarbrick Show, softball head coach Deanna Gumpf joins the program. The Fighting Irish are 8-1 and one on the season so far. Welcome to a, a segment that uh, focuses on uh, women's softball, and I'm pleased to be able to visit with our head coach, Deanna Gumpf. Deanna, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So the question I know everyone is on everyone's mind is, how does one get ready for the softball season when, when there are 12 feet mountains of snow surrounding campus? It has been an interesting experience this year. It is something actually brand new. We have never dealt with this uh, in the preseason. And um, we, we are focusing on not letting it be a factor. Well, it clearly wasn't a factor <laughs> at, at, here at the start of the season. You guys have gotten off to a great start. Uh, what have we learned so far? You know, I, I love the way that the girls have um, figured out how to work together. Um, they play off each other really well. They are, they help each other out. They are picking each other up and um, really feeding off each other in the lineup. And you see that offensively probably more than anything. The thing that I really love is the pitching staff because They've taken their punches early, but they've stepped up for each other. A um, lot of offense early in the season, offense. which sometimes doesn't happen. No. Um, where's that coming from? What's the dynamic? I think the experience, um, you know, you're right. Early, offense is really up and down. And, you know, we're going to still have that. Um, but I love the way that the experienced team, the, the, our core who have been back, have really stepped up and really have just shown the younger ones, this is how we do it and this is what we're gonna do. And uh, like I said, they're feeding off each other in the lineup a lot and it's really paid off. That typically reflects some really good team leadership. Um, who are, who's filling that role on this team? Who are the leaders of this team? Our captain is Chloe Saganowicz and we typically don't have one captain, but this year it just worked out that way. She was a unanimous vote on the team and she's a calming factor and she's a very confident player and she knows what needs to be done and that has really trickled down. Um, she is, um, I'm so proud of the way that she's just stepped up and, and really just created this really calm atmosphere but a gritty atmosphere and that's how she plays and that's, that's what you're gonna see when you see us play. Pretty rare for a program here to have a single captain. Very rare, um. yeah. Are you seeing benefits of that in terms of the clarity of leadership? I think we've kept it very simple, and I think that's been the biggest payoff. And I didn't know how it was going to work out, you know, when we made the decision to have one because she was clearly the leader. Um, but she's made it she's made it easy on us because she's done a really good job. Uh, you mentioned the pitching. Mm -hmm. um, feels like a little more depth on the staff than than we've had in the past. Is that right? Without a doubt, we have a. Our senior Laura winner, who's really been the, you know, the strength of our program in the mat, or in the circle, and then um, Allie Rhodes, a sophomore who didn't get a lot of action last year, has completely stepped up. She um, has figured out how to get people out, and she's doing a great job of handcuffing hitters, which that's what that's what she does best because she's a lefty, um, and really has she's figured out how to use her strengths. Um, and I'm so proud of the way uh, that she's, she wants the ball all the time. Um, so that's changed things. And then our freshman, Rachel, who's just getting her feet wet, you know, she dealt with a, a fall injury. So she's just coming back and I cannot wait to see how she, when she jumps in, um, how she handles things. Laura's probably the happiest person in the world to have, <laughs> to have a little pitching, <laughs> pitching depth. Huh? I'll tell you what, I, it's just, she's able to breathe. Yeah. And, um, Every time Laura's out there, she gets a little bit better, and she knows that about herself. Uh, and it, we're, we're able to let her get better. So it's been nice. Um, what's the focus for this team going forward? What are the things that you're, you're concentrating on as you develop this team this year? You know, we're, we're really just focusing on what's handed to us that day. Um, it's all about doing little things really well. Um, staying and playing together, um, making sure that our chemistry is right and that we're talking a lot to them, we're communicating and they're communicating and really just focusing on, you know, what do we need to do that day to make sure that we're playing our best softball? And when we're not playing our best softball, how are we gonna handle things to make sure that we stay in control of the game? Um, and they, they like that, they like the process of that and not really, you know, at the end of the day, 
wins are wins and when losses are losses, but what are we going to do to make ourselves a little bit better? And that's, it's working for him right now. Um, what are the implications of the move to the ACC for your program? I, I think it's, it, it's huge for us. And I think we're already seeing um, some really great benefits from it. Uh, we have a lot of good, thi- uh, got good teams in the ACC. Um, there's definitely a level in the game that the ACC is at, and it's up. Um, every weekend is going to be a tough weekend, um, and that's okay because that makes our game at the end of the year just as good at the beginning of the year at the end, and hopefully we keep that going. Uh, there, are no, there are no easy weekends ahead, uh, and we have to prepare for that. And the ACC uh, is just such a great move for softball because you know we're at that point where there's eight teams in the ACC who can be in the postseason every year and we want to be part of that and we want to make sure that we're helping raise the ACC to be the top three conferences and stay there. Um, every year brings a new crop of players. Uh, introduce us to, to some of the freshmen we might uh, get to know a little better as this year goes on. Yeah, we have some freshmen making some noise already. Um, Carly Wester uh, is uh, the first ACC player of the week for us here at Notre Dame. and. Uh, she's playing left field mainly and is hitting in the top of the lineup because of her speed. She's just a great athlete. Um, and people don't know how to play her defensively because she has great short game and she has the long ball. Um, she's super fun to watch, super athletic, and just fun uh, to, <laughs> to play the game. Um, Kimmy Sullivan is more of a power hitter. She's playing first base for us here and there, um, making some noise offensively. Second weekend did a great job of uh, putting huge pinch hits and putting the ball in play. And Rachel Naslin is the pitcher who is, you know, getting her feet wet. And I expect to be a huge impact for us come the ACC. Well, that's great. Um, lots of uh, 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 lots of success. Great start on the field. Little news off the field too, right? You had a member of your staff have a uh, have, have 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 a big it's been all over. big big event recently. <laughs> Lizzie is engaged. How about that? We are very excited for her. Keeping it in the family, right? <laughs> a little bit. That lucky baseball staff gets her. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, it's pretty great. I'm really happy for her. And it was great. Excited. It's great to have uh, two coaches <laughs> who. Uh, uh, crazy things happen. Absolutely, <laughs> found each other, and uh, yep. it's uh, that was great. She was in the office the other morning, oh, pretty excited her? about it. Yeah, so it was, uh, and I'm sure it's great for the girls too. Oh, you should have seen the the team. We we hit it from them when we hit in the morning. We all got on the bus. It was hilarious, and you know, I said, listen, you know, we're family here, and we talk about the great things in life, and we talk about the hard things in life, and I want to share something today. And I turned over to Lizzie and I said, Lizzie, and she showed a ring and the whole place <laughs> went crazy. It was a lot of fun. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, you know, um, I'm assuming we'll get out, outdoors eventually here. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> um, in, in, into a facility that we've con- continued to try and uh, make improvements to and upgrade and uh, uh, it looks great. We're so proud of Melissa Cook Stadium. Uh, it's such a beautiful home and um, you know we're we're so we're so blessed to have it, and it's just it's a fun place to play, and we can't wait to get on the field. Yeah, and thanks to the Demo family for all they've done to to help make sure that facility supports our program in in, in the way everyone wants it to, and it's uh, I know it's going to be a great home for a successful year. We are very excited about it, and we love the Demos for everything they do for our program. Well, Coach, thanks so much for spending time with us today, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Thanks. Thanks so much.